altruism that investors are overly careful in their choice of investment location as any or wise choice of locale can determine the fate of such businesses. In almost several years of Governor Ifanyo Kowa's administration, Delta State has transitioned from a predominantly civil service state to a great economic nerve center with a spike in the expansion of businesses and the emergence of new ones. In today's episode of Smart Delta, we will unveil some of Governor Ifanyo Kowa's strategic efforts in changing the socio-economic narrative of the state. My name is Abiyewa Odiase. Stay with us. In Delta State, South South Nigeria, Governor Fanyokoa has no doubt mapped out significant strategies in creating an enabling environment for investors to thrive in their various businesses. So, to ensure that Delta State remains the greatest investment destination in Nigeria, the Okawa-led administration has been proactive in establishing deliberate peace initiatives. One of such is the Peace Building and Conflict Resolution Team, headed by Chief Edwin Uzo. The team has constantly organized peace advocacy workshops to continuously preach the message of harmonious living in the different senatorial districts in the state. This has obviously attracted investors. The essence of this workshop is to bring the stakeholders, youth, women, opinion leaders, traditional leaders, and the general public and business investing uh, companies and members to be able to address them, then to get a breeze with what it takes to make peace, to operate in a peaceful environment. This office that His Excellency created, they are on the move 24-7, they are proactive. And the important thing, after their work, they give the feedback to His Excellency, and then of course he acts on it. So it's progressive. We're very grateful for it. Hey! <laughs> In addition to the gains Deltans have enjoyed since the inauguration of the Operation Delta Hawk, the security architecture of the state has been further strengthened as the okawa led administration has continued to support security agencies in the state. I to hand over uh, the keys to these two armored personnel carriers in addition to the one that has previously been delivered. We've been doing so well to keep the other state peaceful, of which, as the government, we're very grateful. And we are hoping that this will add on to the very needs that is necessary to enable the operation and that they will be able to continue to put in their best to guarantee the security of our people and the peace of the other state. Let me commend the effort of our amiable and erudite governor, Senator Dr. Ifan Ato Okowa. He's a man of the people. In terms of his support to the police, I want to tell you, it's been very wonderful out there. If we request for vehicles, they say CP, take vehicles. Armored personnel vehicles, they are there. All we are provided by Governor Ifan Okowa. And no wonder, therefore, Delta State today can be at George as one of the safest states in the South South Nigeria. The presence of tangible infrastructure in both rural and urban settlements in Delta have proven its ability to spur growth in business and investment in Delta State. Governor Kowa has further demonstrated strong commitment to improving the socio-economic lives of the people of the state through the provision of relevant infrastructure cutting across sectors in the form of roads, airport, health facilities, markets, schools, and so on. These have not only accelerated economic growth, but also promoted inclusive governance, which in turn led to prosperity, reduced income inequality, unemployment, and indeed aided industrialization. Because of the massive infrastructural development in Delta State, that has attracted huge sum of investment. We have the shop rights, we have one in Wari, we have one in Asaba, we have Northwest Nigeria Limited Petroleum Company, and different shopping malls are cut across the three senatorial districts of Delta State. Governor Ifa Okawa, he has done well. In fact, the infrastructure on ground speaks for itself. It's not that we are praising him when you go around Delta, the state capital and everywhere, even the villages. We have never had it so good. 
The pivotal role of effective and reliable transportation cannot be overemphasized. So, through the SMART agenda, which is premised on prosperity for all Deltans, Governor Fanyokoa has taken aviation industry as one of the catalysts for growth and development in the state. With the upgrade and installation of navigational facilities and subsequent concession of the Asaba Airport Company, the airport has become one of the busiest in Nigeria. This serves not just Deltans but neighboring states as well as create employment and grows the state's GDP. We want to have eventually about 20 flights a day here, not only serving Buja and Lagos and Kano, but maybe even looking outside Nigeria. The good thinking of His Excellency that we have made a very good partnership and I hope that governors and other states will take this as an example to see how they can develop not only the aviation sector but the entire transport industry in the state. Flowing from the numerous gains of the repositioning of the Delta Line Transport Company, the Delta State Government has gone further to reaching a PPP agreement with Stallion Auto Keke Limited to establish tricycle manufacturing plants in the state. Smart Delta's roving lenses captured the recent exhibition of the new Auto Keke Bajaj tricycle at the Cenotaph Asaba. We commissioned this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The intent of this is actually create employment and also improve on the IGR, internal generated revenue of the state. And we know that employment is key. This administration is doing its best and is living a very strong legacy. It's a new beginning. Before now, we've been buying uh, keke from all areas. But now that the governor has decided to bring the Bajaj factory into our state here, so it will not be far for us to get. It's a very good gesture and we encourage it. No doubt, these commitments to the revitalization of the different sectors in Delta State have paved way for economic development in the state, making her the foremost investor's destination. For instance, beyond already existing IOCs in the state, other oil and gas companies have established their companies in Delta. A classic example is the emergence of OPAC refinery cited in Kwale. First of all, we give kudos to the enabling law, the local content art. And then secondly, we also give kudos to the equipment itself. Its name will be in history that it has created more neighboring environment to assist a refinery of this nature. In the almost seven years of Governor Kawa's government, Delta State has witnessed a spike in numerous pump stations scattered in the state. For instance, in Asaba, there are numerous petrol stations and sometimes these petrol stations share same location with either an eatery, supermarket or a hair salon. This increases consumers' experience and promotes economic activities in one location alone, which will in turn increase the need for more paid workers and revenue boost. Once you come into a place, you have a mind to buy food, and you get in, you see a boutique, you get something, you move down, you see a supermarket, you move down, you see an eatery, then just behind there you see an ATM, beside it there you see a motor park. So you see that whatever you're actually looking for at that point in time is already embedded in a particular place. And generally, it also increases the awareness or the beautification that Asaba is just a business hub. It increases the consumer's uh, experience and satisfaction when they come around because they can use the avenue to attain a lot of things at the same time. There is no doubt that the proliferation of hotels and relaxation centers in the state is as a result of the investment-friendly environment. These hotels organize events which do not only calm the nerves of their guests who have come to patronize them, but it also creates employment opportunities, fosters public life, business activities, which will in turn increase the state's GDP. Chatting with the CEOs of Park Vega Water Park, Abo, and Vin Milan Asaba, they attested to the investment-friendly environment of the state. There's so much infrastructure in the area to support the business, and there's an airport that functions you know, perfectly in Asaba. And then there's train infrastructure, so there's connectivity between Wari and Abo by train. So those are the kind of things that support any investment. We made our feasibility studies before we this year, and in our course of going around, we discovered that Asaba is one of the fastest developing states 
and they're one of the most beautiful states. And we also look at present and massive developments from the present governor, how he has been able to encourage tourism, which is also another good sector for income to any state. Smart Delta. Okay, okay, okay. With the numerous gains of. Hello, I will be there shortly. My shoe cut. It's gone further to reach and people. Yeah, yo, why? Let me sleep with your quad every time. Aboki, all to get Kelly. Aboki, establish trees. I command. Aboki, oh, hey, is a guam now. Koa is a watch on. You say? Okoa is washing. Ah, ah, let you watch on. Watch on. Oh, oh, walking. <laughs> you and me, why? What you be the news where you hear when me you they jump everywhere? Kuma, today I want to hear again for red door now. But this day, this day, come now. Okoa, you are off now. Where I go, the man, the pastor, and check in a few things. My brother, you see the peace and security where we say we get for that state. It they create a enabling environment for businesses to do well. Who ten shy? Now we get big, big companies where they call they invest for that state. Yeah, why? Big, big supermarket, you don't enter this state. Very true. Big, big hotel, you don't enter this state. <laughs> big, big police station, you don't enter this state. Oh, yes. Even my <laughs> big shoe making company, you don't enter. Even your waiting? Uh, my shoe company, mana. Your shoe company? Where are Ah, uh, see the post for here, mana. Uh, so my shoe for me, my come out. Governor Okoa creating an enabling environment for businesses to thrive in Delta State. Smart Delta. If I Okoa. The Okoa-led administration has continued to raise a generation of boarding entrepreneurs in diverse vocations through the Skills Training Entrepreneurship Program, STEP, the Youth Agricultural Empowerment Program, YAGEP, the Aurora Youth Skills Acquisition Program, RISA, the Girls Entrepreneurial Skills Training Program, JEST, Women Empowerment and Skills Acquisition Program, WESAP, and many more. These platforms have not only tackled unemployment, but have increased the business and entrepreneurial profile of the state. We are retooling and creating policies of intervention, looking at job creation. All the five job creation agencies are largely lavishly involved in it. And we're not just talking about the urban centers, we're also talking about the rural settings where RISA is doing three awards, which is about 810 participants, which where Project Jest is sort of addressing the issues in the respective from what areas. And then women affairs is going far into the interiors, river rhymes, to make sure you adapt or to make most of the trainings in that environment. So the change spaces that we have identified were able to make significant changes along those lines. It started in the first term of his administration in 2015. That's to tell you that even before he came on board, he already had it in mind on how to deal with the timid youth of Delta State because there are really no white-collar jobs anymore. Beyond creating wealth internally, the Okoa-led administration has encouraged production of exports. So. The zeal to strengthen the export potentials of the state birthed the Delta Unido Center and Export Initiative Office saddled with the responsibility of exploring and developing the state's natural endowment to maximize production, both for local consumption and export. In a chat with the executive assistant and coordinator, Delta Unido Center and Export Initiative, Shimite Bello, she said the state is supporting and encouraging Deltans to diversify the economy, especially in the non-oil exports in the area of capacity building, exhibition and profiling of non-oil products. On this, her office inaugurated the Delta Export Group in order to actualize real exports from active exporters in the state. We've had Delta Beyond Oil all talk, but now we are seeing Delta Beyond Oil in the fashion industry, in the arts industry, in the food and beverage industry. So our exporters are on top of the game. They are doing very well. They are able to go around on their own and shortly World Trade Center will be working with us. The governor has done everything to ensure the necessary payments for them are made and then their job is to make sure our products make it to the market. 
to bring you verifiable testimonies of Deltans who are making waves in the non-oil export business. Smart Delta team embarked on diverse trips to the factories of some of the members of the Delta Export Group, DEG. On our trip, our first port of call was Runo Integrated Industries Limited, Ugeli. On arrival, we met Mr. Kejeko Omonade, CEO, Runo Integrated Industries Limited, and Mr. Favor Akbochimura, the chairman of Delta Export Group, DEG. Mr. Omonade revealed that he has been into beekeeping and the production of soap using honey for several years. We were taken on a guided tour as we capture the different activities in the factory. This is the cutting area. Oh, okay. We are using manually operated uh, cutting machine okay. to cut the two cubes. Okay. And uh, just watch the way it's going. That's what it's going now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Speaking with our reporter, Mr. Omonade said that the non-oil initiative of Governor Fanya Kowale administration is the best way to go in diversifying the economy as this has enhanced his business. For any government that is actually empowering you through capacity building for them to become entrepreneurs, yes, that's the right thing to do. For me, through the Delta State Government, which is the non-oil export office, headed by uh, Chief Mrs. Uh, Shimite Bello, this company has benefited from some of our activities or her initiatives. She organized training for us on uh, export process and export documentation and even identifying an export market. From the factory, we went to Efroto in Ugele South, where we met Mr. Gotspower Ikuru, one of the persons trained by Mr. Omonade in beekeeping at the local government level. Okay. Yeah, he's one of those trained by our NGO. Afterwards, we were made to put on protective clothing, a full-length overall to prevent being stung, this gave us the confidence to approach the beehive. How many times? It's about time to open the beehive. I remember growing up when we heard that there's a bee somewhere we run. But now I have to be here to see the colony of bees, you know, flying and um, just to bring this report. Mr. Monade gave us an insight on the benefits of beekeeping. Because of the pollination activities of the bees you are keeping, all the farmers around benefit from it, make their product to do better. And in addition to that, other members of the community too also benefit because you can see what you are wearing is produced by a tailor. And this uh, hive you can see here is produced by a carpenter. And then you have other tools like what he is holding now, which is a smoker, is produced by other technicians. So you can see that many people benefit from beekeeping activities. Mr. Gotspar Ikuru described the ecological lifestyle of the bees and also appreciated the Okoa-led administration for encouraging and supporting youths in agriculture as his daughter is a beneficiary. Governor Okoa has been trying to see that where most of the youth in our data state here and be engaged. Like my daughter, at the time, they were called to Asaba and they were given some highs by Governor Okoa which is encouraging. So many governments have come, they've gone, but no government has ever remembered youth in our state here. Our next destination was Wari, the commercial hub of Delta State. Rajal Investment Limited, Ubangwe, in Wari South local government area, a company that is into the production of beverages, was our host. The production of beverages is done in a hygienic environment. So, Mr. Farouk gave Smart Delta reporter a disposable non-woven fabric cap, a clinical face mask, and a pair of hand gloves. He enlightened the team on the production process and commended the Okoale administration for creating an enabling environment for doing business. Data State is very peaceful for business to thrive. One of the benefits of this kind of business is that it helps to generate money. Not everybody relying on crude oil, but with this kind of business now, you can easily get uh, finance. Next day, still in company of the DEG chairman, the team was pleasantly welcomed to Luvagi factory by the CEO Luvagi, 
Mrs. Onovuge Linda Olayebi, located in a serene environment at number 3 Auchi Close, Camp Extension, Delta Steel Housing Estate, Oruworo, in Udu local government area of Delta State. Interestingly enough, we met a good number of Project Just beneficiaries an empowerment platform for girl child in Delta State learning skills of their choice. She took us on a tour in the factory as our roving lenses capture the trainees busy with their jobs. Hope you are learning well. I hope all these ladies are taking care of you. I'm a in fact, uh, I envy you. Mrs. Onoge told Smart Delta reporter that hard work, passion and commitment is the cornerstone of the business. Her cheering testimony of how the state government has encouraged and helped her business is better heard from the horse's mouth. Take a listen. Dr. Ifai Okowa, he has been supporting me, maybe not directly, but whoever is supporting me from the government is the one supporting me. I remember I went for the South South Export Seminar. I was called to come and export my leather products. So that means he's aware of what we are doing and he's a man that is very close to his citizenry. Then came the special moment when the CEO, Luvagi, surprised Smart Delta reporter with a beautifully crafted leather handbag. Really? This? Yes. Wow. Thank you, Smart Delta. Bag. Made from this bag. Woo! Wow. Like, and it goes with this. And this is for the cameraman, Tony. Oh, Tony! Oh, I just already tapped. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. We are grateful. Thank you. 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 Thank it is broken and finally grounded into soya beans powder, ready for sale. They've supported us. He further revealed that the members of the Delta Export Group have been enjoying enormous support from the okoa led government. Delta Export Group is a group of private entrepreneurs. Since we started the group, it has been very wonderful. We've had a whole lot of trainings, a lot of a capacity development and building that has brought us this far. I must thank the Delta State Governor, Dr. Ifai Okowa. They've supported us on the export initiative. Away from the export initiative of the state, not too long ago, artisans in Delta State came out en masse to appreciate the governor for the numerous supports they have received from his administration. The Rice Center State is Executive Governor of Delta State. I've taken notes of the requests that you have made. At least we can provide something to help support the artisans, not as a union, but to support individual enterprises. 2,500 artisans will be empowered in the course of 2022. With the financial assistance given to 2,500 artisans, the state's micro, small and medium enterprises are being stimulated on the path of sustained and continuous growth. In almost several years of the Kowal-led administration, Deltans can affirm that the state's economy has developed, grew, and has been strengthened through infrastructural development and well-implemented policies. My name is Sabia Iwagiasi. Thank you for watching today's episode of Smart Delta. The feedback segment. This week, we received a message on our Facebook account from Adeyemo Damelola, and it reads, I'd like to know the state of the Delta State Leather Works factory located at Isele Ukun. It's been a while since I last heard of any ongoing training at the facility. If there's any training either ongoing or in view, please, what and how can I become a participant? Thank you very much, Adeyemo Damilola, for your question about the Iseluku factory where we do the leather works. The last time we had the training there was towards the end of 2021. We trained about 100 people in leather works. 
but I'm sure as this year's project rolls out, we will do a further training. We do have handles where you can see and we use the Delta State website, which I'm sure they will provide at the end of this program and you will know what is going on. We also use Facebook because we know a lot of you are there and those of you who are not there are on Instagram. So you will know about what we're doing and we do send uh, messages through the Ministry of Information. They, they have ways of circulating these messages. So check out with your friends. Somebody may hear something, see something, but I think when we see your name, we will definitely give you uh, a little, little jara in terms of coming on board because you asked and we want to have people who are interested in being part of what Senator Dr. Ifarin Okowa is doing. I want to urge all the Deltans and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 0812119213 or send with a hashtag access to all our social media platforms. You better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them high la. Okowa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Everywhere. Come live in Delta. Say me, I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of 